just want to show a quick video on a storage idea that I have if you want to cut your floss and hang it on little tiles or little tags. I never really liked storing my floss on these little tags like this. I started cross stitching in the 80s and they had these floss keepers that you could do this with but I, I just didn't like it. I couldn't get to the, my colors and, and couldn't find the color that I wanted. And so I went to the little bobbins and I used that for years and then I tried these, um, I forget what they're called, but I tried a whole set of these, ended up selling them on eBay because I didn't like this system either. And so right now I have all of my floss stored on these 3x5 cards that I cut and I've got them in a cute little box. So I like it because I can see my colors and I can easily get them out, although it's not as easy to um, pull your colors when you're stitching as it is when you have them on these. So I thought I'd try this this method and see how it works. And um, I watched tons of videos online and I never saw anyone actually using these hanging folders. But you can actually just take an old hanging folder and you can cut the bottom out of it. And then you can punch holes in segments however wide you want it to be and if you go far enough down you can still use the little um, ta the uh, identification tags on there so uh, some of them I've done that way and some I haven't you just just get a hole punch and punch a hole and so um, you can actually cut your folder or you can leave your folder intact and let your floss pull down in the bottom of the folder. You can store charts in there or whatever. So you can use this side, this side. You can actually double up on the back side if you want to. But I think I'm going to prefer the cut folder so I can just hang individual folders in there. And you can also put your projects all on one um, one half of the folder and so um, I really think this is going to work I haven't put it in practice yet so it's just an idea and um, I like my floss really long so mine is always going to pull in the bottom of whatever file drawer I put it in so um, I don't know about tangling that's that's why I've never used this system in in the past with these little tags because the tangling uh, drove me crazy but I don't think they'll tangle too bad you know floss is pretty good about if you have it bound on a tag you can just pull it away from the rest of them and right now my tags are cut about an inch and a half because I was just using scrap cardstock just to get a project together but I found the best size if you're going to use this hanging system is to cut it uh, one inch wide by um, two inches is what I have that and then you can poke you can use a hole punch or a little punch like this this is a 5 8 inch punch and um, let's see here's one that that's that's that size right there and I think that's a pretty good size for this hanging folder idea so you just take um, some brads these brads are kind of big there I think they're an inch you don't need them that big you just need this top to um, be big enough for whatever hole that you've punched in your your tags it needs to hold them on there so you just poke it through and um, store them on there so I'm gonna try this out and see you know the few that I have on there if I have issues with tangling so um, I'm going to try it both ways. I'm going to try it with the folder still in place where I can just hang um, uh, floss on, on the inside and then some on the outside and just, just check it out and see if I have any issues with it.